Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester. Panhandle Outdoors, your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. Uh, I'm Stan Kirkland. I'm, uh, Winston Chester is out today. Winston's traveling. Uh, but uh, on my right is uh, Ken Paramore. We're going to be your host today. Uh, let's look at the weather. Uh, it's brought to us by Haney Technical Center. Haney's located at the corner of Baldwin Road and Highway 77. Uh, the high today is 91. Um, uh, low tonight is 77. The water temperature is a, a balmy 84 degrees. It's, uh, we've been in this summer pattern here for several days and probably will be for a while. Uh, moon phase today, we're almost at a full moon. It'll be a full moon actually tomorrow. So uh, uh, if uh, you use that for fishing, uh, take that into consideration. Uh, the tides are bought, brought to us by Kent Forest Lawn Funeral, Funeral Home and Cemeteries. Uh, high tide this morning was, uh, it will be a little after nine o'clock. Uh, low tide is about eight, uh, about eight tonight. The marine forecast, uh, the winds are going to be uh, east, northeast today, uh, 5 to 10 miles an hour, and about a 60% chance of rain. So uh, if you have, uh, if you're going out today uh, on your boat, uh, make sure and take rain gear or uh, plan accordingly. Uh, we'll take our first break right now. Well, welcome back. Uh, as I said on my right, I don't think the camera was on uh, Ken a minute ago, so uh, you had to take my word that he was here. Uh, but on my right, uh, on my right is uh, Ken Paramore. Ken is uh, uh, a retired law enforcement captain with uh, with FWC. And Ken, uh, we uh, we work together. And uh, what have what have you many been years. doing? Yes, we did work together many years. What have you been doing since you retired? Oh wow. Well, for me, it's been a year and couple of months so and it's been a pretty uh, whirlwind year um, uh, I'll talk about the last few months anyway you know we had a, a pretty good turkey season um, as far as the hunting and fishing goes um, was able to to get one gobbler and call one in for my son who got the second you know our second mm -hmm. gobbler and I hunted just about every day and then uh, it'll get in your blood oh my gosh it, yeah I've talked about that on the show here before it it's, uh, it's something to behold. And then uh, rocked along, you know, late spring and, and then of course uh, around Memorial weekend, snapper season opened. Yeah. So it was pretty wide open uh, for snapper fishing and did pretty good. Uh, well, we'll get into the snapper and how you do yeah. that a little later. We did, uh, uh, we did well with that. Okay. I've done some traveling. Um, I, just, I just completed a trip to South Florida and visited some family and mm -hmm. attended a birthday party. Um, it's funny, I don't know where I ever had time to work <laughs> or vice versa yeah, because uh, it, every day goes by so fast the next thing you know it's, you know, it's a Friday again. And, well, and Ken, uh, I'll say this, you were, uh, in your, and I'm not just saying this because you're here, but uh, you were well respected and, uh, and uh, well admired and loved by the people you work with. And I'll tell you, well, thank you. Uh, 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 you left a void uh, when, I, and I know that uh, you and I both worked for an agency that uh, had a lot of new people. They had the ability to groom people, to bring people along. They had a wonderful program for training new people, as we've seen in the different divisions. Uh, but uh, uh, you were you were somebody. You and I always worked together, and I and I say that uh, with the greatest admiration. Because well, I would have to say uh, likewise because uh, yeah. you left probably a bigger legacy than I did with the agency. <laughs> I don't so. know. Um, I feel like they did lose a couple of pretty good people and uh, dedicated people, yeah. but you know you have to move on. And uh, the agency was left in good hands, and there's good people still at the helm. So um, hopefully they'll they'll take it and, and take it to places that we weren't able to. Yeah, you know? exactly right. Now Ken and I are uh, and a group of about uh, seven eight others are serving on a committee for the um, upcoming uh, a banquet for the National Wild Turkey Federation, and we. Uh, last year we had a, a great banquet. Can you 
Ken, bring us along where we were last year, and then let's get into. Yeah, as you know, right after you and I retired, we we sort of kind of got recruited to uh, to get involved with. That's N a good way to put it. NW, <laughs> NWTF, and it, there's times that you feel like that uh, you didn't have the time for it, but we made time for it. And, and this uh, is a no-pay job, by the it way. It was a freebie, <laughs> and it still is. Um, but we did good things. We we uh, we helped promote turkey hunting and uh, the hunting heritage by having our, our first chapter banquet last August. And we're and, the uh, Bay County Longbeards. Bay our, County our Longbeards is the name of our chapter and we're, we're always seeking more help and people to uh, help us out. But our banquet was in August and we had upwards of 200 people that we fed about 180, 80, 85 and we had a great auction and uh, we have another one planned. Um, and what about, now I know you've been on with Winston before, uh, but mention briefly about how successful our banquet was in terms of the national picture. Well, yeah, we, uh, we came in third place. Um, nationwide. Nationwide for uh, the size banquet that we had, which was um, between 100 and maybe 100 and 200 people the net uh, profit or the net take in versus what um, right. your gross is, which we grossed, uh, you know, close to $33,000 in one, that one night. And um, that's with auction, auction items, raffles. And so we made some money for the cause and we got recognized for it at the uh, national convention in, in Nashville last February. And, uh, and that money, that money goes to support wild turkey uh, conservation, wild turkey management, but it's also, um, and correct me if I'm wrong, it's just to promote uh, ethical use of our outdoors. We, uh, at our upcoming banquet that we're going to talk about, we hope that not only turkey hunters, but we hope that people who care about the outdoors, if you like to photograph, if you like to enjoy the outdoors, when you take part in this and you buy a a ticket to attend or you bring your, your wife or your, your girlfriend or you bring your children, uh, you're investing in, in, uh, in uh, wild turkey management and conservation, not just hunting. Uh, of course, like you say, we love to, love to hunt those birds, but uh, it's more and than you know, that. I personally feel like if, if you like to turkey hunt, then you owe it to yourself to become a member of NWTF. It's you know, $35 a year and, and you get some good benefits out of it. And, good educational stuff in the magazine that they send you and uh, it's really important you know our hunters are, are, ten, are less than 10 percent of the population and uh, right exactly right well uh, I tell you what let's take a break now but when we come back we'll talk about the ban the upcoming banquet and uh, how people can get involved okay Well, welcome back to Panhandle Outdoors. As you can tell, uh, Winston's out of town, and uh, uh, I'm Stan Kirkland, and this is uh, Ken Paramore to my right. We're, we're uh, hosting the show for, for Winston, and uh, uh, Winston, uh, we were talking about, Ken, about the upcoming uh, wild, turkey, uh, wild Turkey Banquet that we will have uh, downtown. So if right. you would, let's talk about that a minute and how people can uh, get we, involved. We have tickets on sale now. Um, our banquet is called the Hunting Heritage Banquet. Um, it's on August the 19th at 6 o'clock in the evening. It's the uh, same time as it was last year. I think the date might be a, a week you know, different, but it's August 19th at 6 o'clock at the First United Methodist Church, um, downtown Panama City. I believe it was on 4th Street. Right. And um, Got a great meal plan. We have barbecue planned. Um, with a couple meats and a couple sides and dessert and tea and um, it's a good deal it's uh, if you just want to come and eat with us it's a $20 donation if you want to uh, become a member of NWTF it's uh, $55 be $20 for the meal and $35 is the annual membership cost for a membership which is is, is for the year starting you know, after the banquet, obviously. But 55 for most people who want to become a member, and, and then, and that includes their meal, correct? Right, right. And then, of course, we have a host of sponsor uh, memberships, uh, sponsor tables, 
at a host of different prices. Um, some of those tables come with a choice of firearms and Yeti coolers. And um, any information uh, that you need in addition to what I just said without getting into all the specific amounts, um, get in touch with myself or Stan or, or any of our committee members. And I think we've got a, uh, Jeff was putting up a poster for us or a shot of that with right. a phone number. It's got they my can, phone number. They can get in touch with you. Uh, uh, my number's in the, the phone book. People can call me as well if they, uh, if, uh, they need tickets, uh, right. either one of us, and there's other committee members. Um, our, our sponsorships, we've got some great sponsors that are already stepping up to the plate and uh, helping us out and without going into who they are right now, uh, we really appreciate that and we'll have more on who those sponsors are. Uh, we've got an, a great auctioneer coming uh, for our, our, our banquet uh, selection of items that people can bid on. Yeah, and, it was uh, a great time last year. I mean, it was fun. My granddaughter came and she was uh, eight years old at the time. And, and just her watching how the auction played out and how it went, um, you know, she had a ball. So everybody had fun. All, all the guys that I personally know that were there, they had a good time and they said, we'll, we'll definitely be back. And um, it, was a good, it was a good time. Our goal, as you know, is to exceed the amount of people that we had last year. And it is a non-alcoholic event, no right. alcohol. Um, and I'll tell you something, uh, we are, are blessed with one of our chapter members, his name is, uh, without singling out everybody, I'm gonna get in trouble here, but Jose Ponce, who Jose, a lot of you know Jose. Jose has uh, painted, he has become a, uh, um, a, a, a self, how do you say it? He is a, uh, he, he's learned how to paint, let me just put it like he's that. He's an artist. He's an artist. And uh, he has the uh, uh, most, uh, gifted ability. In fact, I have one of his prints, uh, and, and I wouldn't take anything for it, uh, of, a, of a gobbler, but he, he has, uh, in fact, I think you were bidding on one last year, and you got outbid at the last minute. I got outbid, <laughs> but you know, the good thing about being outbid was is I hung in in that <laughs> bid long enough to get the price of that print up to where we had mm -hmm. a enormous profit on that Yes. Um, because of of that, and um, he's got another one that he's, oh, this, he's given us this year. He is, Jose has spent, I don't know how many hours working on this, and uh, this is a beautiful, uh, large print that, that somebody will take home, and it'll uh, grace the walls of someone's house, but uh, I'm telling you, it, it is a thing of beauty. And, uh, and maybe if Winston yeah. will have us back before the banquet, we'll bring it in and show it. Sure, and uh, maybe maybe that'll work out. But again, that's coming up on uh, that's coming up on August the nineteenth. Uh, see us, and uh, what you're investing in uh, the future of uh, wild turkey management um, uh, in, uh, in in not only our area but throughout the country. And uh, it's uh, you Some know great auction items, um, and. Uh, Everything is quality stuff, and it'll be a nice two or three hour night. Yes, and uh, we try to get everybody out of there a little after, uh, uh, well, last year I think we were pretty much done by 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. We started, uh, I think we started the meal, what was it, at uh, six. seven? Uh, well, we started at six, and then- uh, Yeah, we ate a little bit later. Yeah, but right. anyway, so, so uh, if you're interested <clears throat> in that, please let us know. Um, on to some other things. Um, on, a, on kind of a sad note, uh, Ken, uh, you alerted me last week about the death of an officer, of a fish and wildlife officer here in Florida, and if you would mention uh, who Yeah, his, uh, his name was Greg Patterson, and um, he was a physical fitness buff, and he was out on a morning a bicycle ride for his part of his day, he starts his day early. And that was his exercise, and he was on a bike path in Tampa. And he, somehow during the night, a power line came down, and it was somehow on or across the bike path. A live, live, a live wire. And he, he ran into it, apparently, and was electrocuted. Yeah. And um, he was 47 years old. He'd been with FWC since uh, 2011. Mm. He had two children and uh, he was a Navy, U.S. Navy veteran, um, it, tragic. It, every time uh, things like this happen, um, 
you know, those of us that affect, you know, we're a fraternity in the agency. And uh, it, uh, just like with, uh, you know, when uh, uh, Dave Brady was shot, you know, it, it affects everyone because you, you know so many people and you, um, right. you're, you're a fraternity. And, sad. Uh, so, uh, you know, sad uh, uh, for his family. Um, it was uh, a freak thing, it's yep, not, you know, yep, but yep. Um, we, we, lost, we lost one. So yep. even though it was an off-duty deal, um, it still hits home. Sure, you're you're exactly right. Um, let, uh, also, I wanted to mention uh, congratulations before we go to our next break. Congratulations to Wade Bourne. Uh, Wade Bourne uh, was recognized yesterday at ICAST in Orlando, or last uh, I should say last Thursday, not yesterday, but last Thursday in Orlando, as being the uh, uh, fishing outdoor fishing communicator of the year in the entire United States. Uh, interestingly. Uh, Winston's uh, son-in-law, uh, Walter Woodrick, when he and his wife Wendy moved to Tennessee uh, last year, they went to a church and, and just happened to be in the same church that Wade and his wife were members outside of Clarksville, Tennessee. Wow. So anyway, but uh, congratulations to Wade, uh, Wade Bourne. Uh, great, great outdoor communicator, somebody I'm proud to call a friend, and I know Wade uh, well. Let's take our uh, next break now and uh, be back with you in just a minute. Well, welcome back uh, to the show. Um, last time I was on, I, uh, I committed a, a, a faux pas. I, uh, I brought on two products, and uh, just to let you know that there are a lot of people that pay attention to detail in the audience. Uh, people uh, commented to Winston, and, and I got a couple of, couple of uh, messages that, that I did great with the first one, which was the Thermocell, and I talked about do you use a thermocell when oh, you turkey hunt? Oh my goodness! As Dennis Palmer told I don't, me, I don't know what we ever do without them. Dennis said you can leave your gun at home, but you better take your thermocell. It's like and it's like flipping a switch. I'm telling you, they, uh, they there's actually a commercial with a guy in his underwear sitting there, and we're not going to play that. But uh, there's a guy sitting there, and and the mosquitoes don't bother him. I mean, he's he's. Uh, Sometimes I take two. Well, I carry no, a backup. I'll put them on each, each yes, side of sir. it. Yes, sir. They are an amazing product, and we don't, we're don't we not being paid to say that. They're not sponsored of the show. I wish I had invented it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, but the, the, And now they have the, the little butane cylinders that power the thing, and the wafers, they're good for 12 hours. Right. So, so right. you don't have to change them out as frequently, right. but it's an amazing product. I thought it was snake oil when I first heard so about it. But, but uh, amazing product. Thermocell is the name of it. Keeps mosquitoes. You work out in the yard, you can be on the patio. Uh, they've got lanterns now, thermocell lanterns. You can set it down. You can enjoy the outdoors around here and not have to worry about mosquitoes. But the second product, the one that I goofed on, was um, I talked about this tick repellent, but I never said the name of it. And, you know, it was a, a black and yellow a bottle. They have it in aerosol, too, but it's called Sawyer's, S-A-W-Y-E-R-S, Sawyer's. I've never heard of it. And Sawyer's is the best tick repellent I've ever seen. The first time I was introduced to uh, Sawyer's, uh, I think I mentioned this before, there were three of us on a turkey hunt in Central Florida, and I've never seen as many ticks in one place in my life. There were these little seed ticks were everywhere. Mm. I got eight on me the first day, and, and I was paranoid about sitting anywhere because they were just, they were on the leaves, the bushes, and all this kind of stuff. And so we were, and the guy with me, he had over 20 on him. And then this other guy, he had zero. And we, you know, at the end of the day, we, none of us killed a bird the first day. We got to talking and the guy admitted, he said, well, don't y'all, didn't you spray your clothes with Sawyer's? And of course that led to the question, what mm -hmm. Sawyer's? But Sawyer's, which it, you, you can buy them at your, your uh, uh, I, I don't know about Dick's Sporting Goods, but I know Walmart's. Um, I know you can order it from Cabela's. You can order it from Bass Pro. Your uh, better sporting goods stores, a lot of them carry it. Uh, but Sawyer's is the name of the product. You, you don't put it on your skin. You spray your clothing and let, um, and let it dry and put it on you. It's the best tick repellent I've ever seen. And uh, they say it's good for uh, your clothes. One spraying is good for eight, up to eight washings. So you can wash your clothes. Uh, I wouldn't depend on that. I spray my clothes every time after I wash them, because, and I, I get zero ticks on me uh, mm. turkey hunting. 
Ken, uh, in the last couple of minutes that we've got, <clears throat> if somebody's wanting to fish right now, considering this weather, uh, balmy conditions, uh, the, the water temperatures, how warm it is, what would you recommend to them if they wanted to go, let's say, offshore versus? Uh, I would say um, right now, because it's so hot, go early. And I would cut it off before noon if it was me going, because just because of the heat, you know, out right. in the boat. Um, recreational snapper is closed. Um, I think Travis mentioned that uh, last week or week before last. What about king mackerel? King Can mackerel I mean? would be a good choice. Uh, the, the little mahi are in close. Um, a lot I, of king mackerel right now around our pass, around the buoys. The, the buoys. The buoys. And, uh, you can catch cigar minnows, free spool those. That's troll a good around, way. Troll around around the wrecks or the reefs. Right. Um, free spool them out the back. Um, slow troll with them. Um, snapper you could drop down and catch. You just have to release. Uh, Beeliners are still open. Trigger fish is closed. Um, so it's it's kind of a mixed bag. You can go catch right. fish. You just you may not be able to keep right. them. You know that you catch. Right. But kingfish right now is probably the and the little mahi they're they're catching a lot of. So um, good deal. Good. And in terms of the near shore local bays, I know Winston talks about this a lot. The water temperature is so warm now. Um, it's tough to catch trout and redfish, uh, or, or trout and, uh, and, and redfish, and, uh, unless you go early in the morning, late in the afternoon, those fish will come up when the water temperature actually uh, um, cools off. But uh, uh, one thing, if you, if you like to fish and you're willing to fish some of our lakes and our ponds right now, go at night. I grew up fishing, uh, I love to fish at night take uh, what's called a jitterbug. Uh, they're a standard in most fishermen's tackle box or either a, like a, uh, another one's called a dying flutter. They've got a little propellers, anything that'll make noise. Take a small boat, wear your life jacket and go out right now. You can escape the summer heat and, uh, and you can still catch fish. You can actually fish these ponds and lakes like that at night uh, from now through the middle of, uh, middle of September uh, into, into October. Folks, we're about out of time. Winston, we'll be back uh, with you tomorrow, and uh, we thank you for watching. Thanks for joining us for Panhandle on Tours with Winston Chester. Panhandle on Tours features hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle on Tours.